And if you have an electric car, you may be noticing a difference in its performance this week. Yeah, the cold weather is having an impact. Brianna Connor joining us live on Eyewitness News at 4 in studio to explain. Hey, Brianna. Jonathan Myra, if you've ever had a cell phone die on you outside in the cold, you know lithium ion batteries have a hard time holding a charge in certain conditions. According to AAA, the main issue for drivers is that cold temperatures can reduce driving range. Driving in freezing weather requires more power, especially when it comes to keeping the car warm. Research by AAA shows the average EV's driving range decreases by 41% when the temperature outside gets down to 20 degrees and the car's heating system is on. On top of that, fewer hours of sunlight in winter requires the battery to power headlights for longer and it takes energy to keep those windows defrosted too. All of that pulls battery power from the engine, decreasing driving range. I talked with the AAA Texas spokesperson today who says the best way to stay powered up is to prepare. Keep a high charge and don't overuse that heater. Certainly you can also park in a garage out of the elements that will help um, conserve some of your battery's power. Um, also having well inflated tires important for driving on winter conditions, but also it's important for just the power of your vehicle and it, the efficiency of your battery if you have an EV. Um, and then of course if you have an eco mode, you can also utilize that. Also important to note that technology is constantly improving. EV manufacturers are working to make battery capacity and driving range less of a concern in the wintertime. In the studio, I'm Brianna Connor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.